There's a story trending online about a group of Nigerians who are protesting against the non-governmental organization NGO Regulatory Bill, which is about to be passed in the House of Representatives with the hashtag Stop the NGO Bill. The bill is set to regulate the activities of NGOs and civil society organizations, CSOs, across the country. The bill also proposes that NGOs require permission from the government before they can raise money, spend money, and a total restriction on all their activities. What are your thoughts on this? Now, I wanted um, Nima to go first because of the legal connotations of this. Before, you only needed to go and register your organization your church, your NGO, your mosque, you know, CAC. with the government, you know, with <coughs> CAC. Now, with this new bill, aren't we having so many um, parastatals, MDAs, if you may, you know, that are not effective? For instance, what I mean by this is, rather than um, make the Nigerian police more effective, right, we created the EFCC. The Nigerian police will say, we don't have money. The EFCC will say we don't have enough funding, you know, so we're just, you know, this small money that we have, we're just, you know, we keep on creating bottlenecks. Before we come to um, why are they doing this, I wanted us to establish the legal mm -hmm. angle. Do we because need to? NGOs are for non-profits. Yes. Governments usually would not regulate so much. Yes. Once they are registered, mm -hmm. that for non-profits, they are not taxed because, you know, their activities are not for profit, mm -hmm. like I said. And that's as much as, you know, governments would look into them. But we've had excesses on the side. You know, we've had NGOs, you know, def defraud the people that are supposed to raise monies that they do not account for. Okay. And so government must regulate them. Okay. They must. Apart from the fact that, you know, they have a very tight way of registering them, which is the only bottleneck I see NGOs go through, mm -hmm. presently under the, C uh, the, the CAC. CAC. They don't have any other form of, you know, Hold on them. Regulation. They, nobody accounts for anything. You can raise money, spend them. You don't have to give any necessary kind of account. Okay. And you see people, a lot of people just forming NGOs for any reason. If okay, you have okay. somebody somewhere that is willing to give you money, you raise monies. Nobody, if you do not use it for what you raise it for, who would you account you okay. to? So Why we need we? regulation. Okay. But what I would not support, like you said, is, you know, have an MDA supposed, supposedly to regulate them and then create bottlenecks so that, you know, people are... Bottom end, the receivers, the people that they raise, they raise money to take care of, do not get <coughs> help be, on time okay. because some people are, you know, sitting in Abuja, be doing big man. Okay, ma. Why do we have N NGOs, mm. non-governmental organization, mm -hmm. yes, civil society organizations? Yes. In the first place, what made them proliferated? If lack of good governance, if there beautiful. is no lacuna somewhere <coughs> that people need to still channel their uh, their, their needs towards somewhere. Mm. Why would you even have them in the first place? Mm. Now, I don't have a problem with regulating anybody that is, that is in, in the country. Mm. But putting bottlenecks in its... Now, they're supposed to have a commission mm. that there, there will be a board mm. that the leader of that board, the, the chairman of that board, in, I've read the whole uh, uh, act that they want to, they, they want, they want to use. Mm. The leader of that board will be chosen by the president. Now, it's a non-governmental organization. Is it not becoming a governmental organization? It becomes a governmental because organization. Because this time around, another thing is that every, their headquarters is going to be in Abuja. Mm. Of what, the regulatory body. Uh, no, yes. the, the regulatory the government body. Mm. No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. No, each no, NGO. <coughs> no, each NGO. I read, I read the 36th page of the, that act. Each NGO will have their headquarters. Meaning that even though you don't have a space there in, in Abuja, your, your you activities must, you, are coming from there, the way you raise money, the way you, you, spend, you it. spend it, everything will be coming from there. But they've come out to say that the majority leader of the, uh, the deputy majority leader of the House of Reps, um, um, Omar Jabri, said that it's not going to affect churches. It's not going to affect monks. It's not going to affect the, um, the religious, the religious yes, uh, we're uh, out. organizations. That is even people that it should affect. <laughs> because even the, the NGOs are not even, they don't raise money for them. Their, can, their can, I, can I say something here? I worked in an NGO just after NYSC. And um, the first NGO I worked with was a project a lot on violence against women. I worked there for a couple of months before I got another job. And the stress these people go through to get money. They, don't, they basically don't even get funding from 
the government, from the state, except for those who pe people who register NGOs because they have links in government to get people and all of that. The real NGOs who are really striving to make sure that people are okay don't even get funds from government. Mm. Now you want to swoop in and start you know, regulating how they spend the money that you're not even helping them to get. Okay. So I'm stuck in between because I know that some NGOs are actually NGIs, non-governmental individuals. Okay. Mm -hmm. they, because I remember when I was in school, it was a fad. That once you graduate, just go and start, start an, NGO. an NGO. Say you want to save women, have people raise mm. uh, money. money. Say you want to save children, have people raise money. And that's employment for you, mm. right? But then also, I remember we had a financial analyst early in the year when we were analyzing this year's budget. And my question, why 55 billion for health, 56 billion for education, mm -hmm. when you are even spending more money, you know, on the presidency? And at the time, you were saying it's because a lot of um, non-governmental organizations, organizations were already filling the gap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously? You know, so WHO will come, UNESCO will come, UNICEF will come. They were already times? filling the gap in those two primary um ministries okay. was why they were allocating you know that amount of money to them in the budget and that's so if so. we're already um leaving our duties because we know that People some like NGOs fill, in fill the, gap. the gap and then you now create another bottleneck in the way in which they spend their money to fill that gap like she said initially she mentioned that these NGOs came out because the government wasn't doing what it was supposed to be. Okay. And that is why they came in to fill in that gap. Now, you are not giving them what they are supposed to have because you think people... How many times does the uh, World um, Health Organization... I mean, how many times, times do they, they come, come in to, to, Nigeria. Do, to fill in that okay, gap? Okay, so BC, we have our first caller on the line, Taiwo. Thanks for joining us. Please go ahead with your contribution. How are you today, sir? Very well, thank you. And you? Well, good. Please go ahead, sir. Yes, I actually want to uh, advise that we all go against this idea. Personally, why do we have these NGOs? They are called non-governmental organizations. organizations. Yes. They are to support every loophole that we have within our society that government cannot provide. Mm. Now, if you are now trying to bring up bureaucratic, bureaucratic idea, mm. you eventually kill all ideas. Yes. Tell me, let, let, let me tell you, <coughs> this, why do we have CAC? Why do you register with CAC? Uh -huh. You like the fact that uh, they, they, they are bought of different other limited liability organizations holding them, and they have other, organiz and, um, other uh, regulatory bodies managing them already. Why would you want to create other? See, let me tell you. If they have an idea to crowdfund or uh, 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 raise funds for anything against the current system, they will kill it. Yeah. Or yeah. if they notice that there's a means that which funds will be moving for some certain project, they yeah. will want to cut their own percentage out of it. Out of At the end of the day, you like keep creating decide. problems. Thank you very much, as Taiwo. As much as I agree with so bureaucracy, that's the I'd worry like that decide. a lot of people have. Yes. As I'd like to dis as much as I agree that you know the bureaucracy thing, yes, you know I said it earlier. It. Yes. I'd like to disagree with the fact that you know bad governance led to the creation of the NGOs. NGOs exist everywhere in the world. Yes. Wait, you know but the, mm, the they, proliferation. Anybody in that has a charitable interest mm. would you know want to you know start up an NGO and because yes. of government see that you know you cannot be doing charity as well as be paying be Nima, pay taxes. Hold, hold, they to they remove that clock in you. the will of you know your interest to go ahead and Nima, assist government. My question is no, this if you cannot the advocate NGO, listen now if the NGO now needs approval mm. for their spendings on money they to have okay, raised, raised if themselves. I have set up absolute an NGO, power corrupts absolutely. You so, cannot just give them a free reign. We are in Nigeria rage. we understand we, have this we understand no. how Nigerians work you some people are just criminally inclined okay. you start up an ngo people. you make money you don't have to account for you don't have to pay taxes you just have a few free day you know, if this bill enjoy yourself and party that the money is raised are used for the 
you, you, a purpose that they were right. Well, that's why they were registered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the CSC so goes, and you know, CSC is not a regulatory body as to that extent. So do you know that? Why don't you make CSC regulatory? Since I'm registered with you, why don't you make them we regulate can them? We can come in and check Rather on than you. Rather yes. yes. if, if, if this bill were not in Nigeria, yes. I can even say that you will have people that are seated there at the, at the government in Abuja that would do things right. Not here in Nigeria, you might have to bribe for everything. That you might have so let's to say to it. Uh, it, it please, yeah, I Esther, really think. Yeah. yeah, Esther, go ahead. I have to say, me, says, the existence of NGO ha has nothing to do with bad governance. Good. And those NGOs that exist abroad also have, are also due to bad governance. Esther. And then um, Nasir well, Ujato says, me. NGOs are great advocates of transparency. Why should they be shrouded? If you are clean, what makes you afraid? Mm -hmm. And then. Um, it's okay, we have to run off. Um, we just hope that the government does the right thing for the people. Um, Focus let's on what's not. Important. We already said we have a, a, an over bloated um, workforce. Um, workforce. You know, we're unable. Everybody's going on strike. The medical doctors are so everybody's going on strike. And then so you create another bottleneck that the people who are really helping the people you ought to govern, and you then make it more difficult for, for them. them to help. I think we need to address the issues. We'll discuss yeah, it more. Yes. So. Um, um, that's all we can take on the discussion right now. Next, we discuss why you must have a will. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. No one wants to think about a time when they will no longer be around. But planning for the inevitable by creating a will is one of the most critical things anyone can do for their loved ones. We have heard cases of people dying without a will, thereby causing disputes among their family members. How important is a will? Joining us on the show is the Administrator General and public trustee of Lagos State, Olani Miriam Balanle. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank, Thank you me. very much. So, um, a lot of people wait till they're old or dying before they write a will. But we've had a guest once who said that once you start to acquire property, even if you're in your late 20s or 30s, you must have a will. It does two things for you. It directs you know, your future henceforth. And it makes you also realize where you are presently. But what exactly is a will? Thank you very much. Uh, a will, according to Osborne Concise uh, Law Dictionary, mm. is a document prepared by a person wherein it disposes his or her property before his death, mm. but it takes effect after his death. Okay. By that, um, if you have properties, you have distributed it while you are alive okay. to people that you want to give it to. Okay. So it is your personal wish that mm. you want to be carried out after you are no more. Mm. Unlike when somebody dies without a will, mm. You have left everything <coughs> to the whims and caprices of your relationship. So they can give it to anybody that they like. Well, Even people how that... Co uh, how common is this practice within our environment? You know, do people really, really write wills? Well, because uh, we're afraid of dying. Especially mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> when we are when psychology yeah. that, that, that is, that is <laughs> a That's good question. Um, it, is, it is uncommon okay. in our environment here. Yeah. Because, like my sister said, people are afraid. They believe that the moment you start writing, are you, are, are planning. You, are, you are getting closer <laughs> to your grave. <laughs> Whereas it is not so. Mm. You see, uh, people don't want to die. At the same time, people want to acquire, acquire, mm -hmm. acquire. Mm -hmm. And uh, all these things that you acquire, while you are there, while you are still alive, mm. you can do whatever you like with it. Mm. But the moment you are no longer there, I mean, anybody can just come on board and do whatever they like. Uh, but but when, you say anybody, when you say anybody, if you're married, shouldn't it automatically be your spouse? Unfortunately, in our environment here, 
you know you have a extended family, family. Yeah. you have um, children even your children mm -hmm. even your wife mm -hmm. you have those people that are very greedy mm -hmm. they want to take everything to themselves okay so yes. in that situation mm -hmm. if you don't have a will definitely some people who feel that they, uh, they have an upper hand mm -hmm. they will take control what does it mean to die in interstate uh, to die in testate means that uh, the person doesn't have a will. Okay. Okay. If somebody prefers a will, the person is said to be tested. You oh. die tested when you have okay. a will. Okay. But where, where you don't have a will, the person dies in tested. So, so who, who can you, does it have to be, <laughs> does it have to be a lawyer that draws your will? No, no. <coughs> it, is, it doesn't have to be a lawyer, but it is advisable yes to engage the services of a lawyer so that you can be well advised because not every will that is made is valid yes. okay. a will can be made if it doesn't satisfy the requirement yes. then it becomes invalid if, if it is invalid what happens to it i mean it means that the person doesn't have a will okay. the wish, of, so the the wish of, a, of a deceased person you know is well cared for when he has a will properly drafted by, yes. by a lawyer but what's the alternative and how difficult is it to get an administrative le a letter of administration when you know your person dies in test it for the members of the family. Okay. okay, that's a good one. If a person died test it, that person must have uh, um, 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 appointed uh, people to be executors. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to get authority to perform as an executor, you have to apply for probate of the will. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so, on the other hand, if there is no will, the person we said has died in test it. Yes. And for anybody to have authority, the person must apply for mm -hmm. letters of administration. Yes. Yeah. Um, in obtaining letters of administration, you have to go to the probate registry, mm -hmm. you obtain form, mm -hmm. you fill in, you put the names of uh, uh, proposed uh, administrators, mm -hmm. minimum of two, okay. maximum of four. Okay. Uh, after paying the necessary uh, yes. forms, everything, mm. your publication is done mm. in the newspaper to know whether people will object or not. Okay. After clearing that, they will look at the properties that are involved, they will value it mm. and tell you the amount of money you are going to pay. Mm. So I will not be in position to say this is the period it will take. Okay. Okay. But I know that, I know that the <laughs> shortest you can get is not less than two years hmm. no sometimes before we get six months we do a lot of work <laughs> just last month a family member that died i wanted to do get the person letters of administration and when we we sat in the house and you know valued the property i told i said to them that it <laughs> might just be a waste of our time mm. you know to start this whole process mm. because you know certain parasita will require you get these letters of admi administration yes. before you can access maybe you know the remaining part of this gratuity or something i was talking about less than a million and i was like this by the time we are done yeah. doing all this and i give you whatever is left you might not because i knew what they needed money for yeah. Yeah. so you know that's why i said i wanted you to expand on how the process is so so people understand how important because i'm still going to come to the areas of conflict mm. of islamic law not requiring mm. you know the wheels and all that limits the, you know like, uh, as far as i know since i is i'm not in the judiciary but i know mm. that when you obtain the form you feel you do all the necessary things sometimes it takes uh, some time even for the applicants wow. to comply with all the requirements okay mm -hmm. you need to put a death certificate yes. mm. you need to get uh, people that are going to be a uh, i mean uh, mm. um, administrators okay. you yes. get mm. certain the uh, document from them mm -hmm. if you f if you have submitted the form the publication they are not going to publish your own alone they have to gather mm. uh, so many applications at because the they time. do at the same time so it's not as if after you have uh, paid it's they will publish it mm. okay. they have to gather a certain number of applications publish customer. it um, we, we know that it's very important to write wills, but then we have had issues where uh, the will was written before the person passed yeah. away, and then family members are fighting the will, objecting that the will does not satisfy everybody, mm -hmm. and then they start taking it to court. So writing that will right now is something... Is it not defeated? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, at the end of the day. Mm. It's not defeated. You see, you said something. You said... Uh, when the man dies, they, they are fighting mm. that uh, the will does not satisfy everybody. everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, they cannot query the content of the will. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm the owner of the property. I can give it to a dog. Mm -hmm. 
if I like. Mm. So nobody can nobody can question the the, the distribution. But they have to take it to court. No, uh, they no. They may say that uh, uh, it was uh, prepared. Maybe when the person was not on the yes. So those are the excuses. Well, but to say that the way the person distributed it, I mean, you cannot base your your uh, your case on that. You uh, cannot fly. Let's look at a situation where in Nigeria, most times it happens that someone dies hmm? and even puts his wife as the administrator and, you know, takes care of his spouse and his children. Mm -hmm. But the family members are fighting the lady over it and sometimes even throw the lady out, out, of, the the house. out of the house and even take house. everything. How do you find that? That is a conflict uh, that my sister was talking about. You know, for example, in, this, in the South here, uh, the customary law, hmm? the customary law, when you compare it with, uh, if somebody makes a will, definitely you have jettisoned the customary law. Okay. But because our people, the... I don't know whether to say lack of uh, lack of knowledge. Yeah, mm? yeah, yeah. They they don't seem to believe in in the in the will. They mm -hmm. feel that it is strange to us. Oh. You know, it's uh, it's English. How can you say you give everything to your wife <laughs> or to your <laughs> children when your brothers, your sisters are there? Yeah. They believe that uh, according to the customary law, what you have does not belong to you alone or to your wife. You have brothers, so you have dependents. So the family. So the family. Imagine. You know, that is their belief. They believe that, uh, I mean, if uh, Yoruba, they will say... Uh, the wife is a property. Uh, mm. Pardon? The wife that is also a property. Uh, they, yeah, anyway, yeah. that is a wrong assertion. We will <laughs> not sit down and, uh, and, 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 and discuss well, issues like yes, that. Uh, yes. Why is it? Well, but uh, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, customarily, if a man dies, the children are entitled to the property. They give to the brothers, mm -hmm. eh? because they believe that uh, if that person also dies, the the other the, the brothers also will share, because if you share in uh, liability, yeah. you also share in that is the belief okay. of Africa. I have to interrupt you, Ma. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So in having a will, there are many areas of conflict. There's the Islamic one. There's the customary one of mm -hmm. even people saying, ah, no, um, this is not what I want. This is what I want. So how do we resolve all the conflicts? If you are a Muslim, you don't have any problem. Okay. All you have to do is just say, I want my uh, yes, property yes. to be shared in accordance with Islamic law. And your daughter does not have a right to question it because she's going to be getting half of what her brother is getting. It doesn't, unless she's not a Muslim. And if she's not a Muslim, she may not even have the uh, entitled to it. Okay. Oh. Because you have to believe. You have to believe in that, that, uh, in that law. Okay. Mm. Yes. So the conflict of family members also saying, you were mentioning that before we went on the break, that um, you, you cannot say that your property is only for your wife and children. Under uh, the customary law. Yes, under the customary. For example now, if somebody has parents that are alive, mm. you are the one that are res you are responsible for catering for this uh, parent. Mm -hmm. If you are no more, and no provision is made for them, who will take care of them? And but if you have a will, your will must have taken care of what, whoever you want. And if that will is restricting your property to your wife and your family and your children, and your children. Is, is anything wrong in before that? you and answer, you put your parents. Before you yeah, answer that question, ma'am, there's a phone call. Yakub has called in from Dokwemu. Okay. <laughs> Long time, sir. Please go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, thank you very much. Because of the time. Yeah, I think uh, mom have already taken a word from my mom. Uh, it's uh, because I believe uh, all the ladies in the studio believe Every property belongs to the husband, it must belong to the wife as well. <laughs> Maybe if the plan is some more. Yes, but I dare to disagree with you. For example, mommy said this earlier. If I have a property and then I still have uh, old mom and old uh, father, God forbid, and then someone is late, and then you are not telling me I should will all the property or everything I have to the wife. I said, even though somebody did that, I think they should be reflected that way. In order to take care of those old men and the old uh, women, because if they don't take care of them, they will follow the president. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Yaku. Okay, so that, in this case, if somebody, if somebody does such a thing, 
will all the property to, to the, the wife and yeah. the children. children. By default, the By wife should take care of the parents. Yeah. You don't yes. have to tell, don't have to tell them. You don't have to tell me yeah. that I should take care of my parents See, or my parents in law. By default, the wife, the wife should take care. Should take care. Yes. Yeah, but By what, default, you know, let me what, what happens is this. Please. Because we cannot rely on that sentiment. The Lagos State House of Assembly, the, for one, I, at least I remember them because I wrote on that when I was working as a, a legal counsel with Lagos State University, that the administrative law, uh, of, uh, administration of state, state law, law. as catered for dependents, okay. okay. you would apply to court and establish that you that were you a dependent, dependent of the deceased. Okay. It covers parents, it covers maybe, you know, um, uh, vulnerable. Uh, inca vulnerable people. So once you can establish your That's dependence on the deceased, the court will provide from that oh, estate for you. For you. Okay. Because okay. the wife might not. I'd like yeah. her to respond to Yakub. Uh, uh, um, in fact, what he said also uh, buttresses the fact that you have a will. Okay. Because if you have a will, all these things will have been catered for. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, may, you can make provision that uh, until your mother or your father dies, they yes. should be giving them certain so amount, amount of money, of money. Uh, okay. for their um, uh, So it's just emphasizing the need, the need to for have a will. will. So we have Damalala calling from Ibado. Thanks for joining us. Please go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, this is my first time of calling. Please go ahead. Yes, I wanted to make a contribution on the NGO stuff you just discussed. In 60 seconds. <laughs> Yes, um, the NGO, my, my own view, I'm in support of it in the sense that because some of the NGOs are created to, to move some money because most of them, if you go to the grassroots of them, they are funded by politicians and okay. they are using it to okay. transport our funds. All right, thank There's you very much, Damilola. Who here, Bohan says, does customary law override written will? And then, um, okay, so go ahead. Respond. No. no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Okay. okay. Um, cause we let have let a few me, minutes to run off. Yes. Let, so let I want you to this. have the last word. Like I said, the the office of administrator general and public trustee yeah. is purposely uh, established mm. for purpose of administering intestate estate. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And uh, we discover that uh, so many people are suffering in silence. Mm. The father has a lot of property. But because of the intermeddling of members of the family, yes. the children cannot uh, afford mm -hmm. to go to go school. To school. Yes. So those are the type of cases that we have with us. So what are do they, they need that to do? People, what do these people need to do? All they, uh, see, all, what they need to do is to petition our office okay. so that uh, we look into it. If some people are intermeddling with their property to okay. their detriment, okay. then we assist them mm -hmm. to ensure that they have access to their inheritance. Fantastic. Beautiful. So, but, but the, the basic thing is that uh, people should write a will. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is those people who do not have will that we have their property in our custody. Yes. Okay, so, so if all of us write wills, then we need to shut down your office. Yes. 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 But you can appoint us as executors. Yes. Yes. Because we are neutral, we, yes. we will not uh, take side, we will be able to. And you will not take some of my money. Anyway, for your job, of course. For offering services. Administrative charges. Thank you so very much for coming Thank you very today. Much. I mean, it was an informative discussion. Do you have a last word? Uh, please, tomorrow, uh, the Office of AJMPT is mm -hmm. one of the agencies of the Ministry of Justice. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have about seven other agencies. Okay. We have a program coming up tomorrow at Agege Market. Uh, awareness program. Mm -hmm. We want to organize a legal clinic where okay. people will come with their uh, legal issues okay. so that we'll be able to solve it. For them. Okay, so Agege Market tomorrow, tomorrow. what time? Uh, 9 a.m. Fantastic. So Agege Market tomorrow. CMC will be there, okay. OPD will be there, okay. uh, DSTRP will be there, mm -hmm. Park will be there, AG and PT will be there. And yes, uh, we'll take advantage. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. thank you very thank much, you Mrs. Olani, for being on the show today. Thank, thank you, you, ladies. Yeah. Have a fantastic day ahead today. See you tomorrow. Bye.